trying to <clears throat> teach your kids forgiveness and letting that go because when you hold on to that anger and you don't forgive that other person, the person that you're hurting ultimately is yourself. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. moved, the other person's moved on. They're yep. not even thinking about it yep. anymore, but you are the one that's struggling with that. Now. There's a really important thing that's coming up. It's, it's been, you know, like with all the integrative medicine, there's something called narrative medicine. And, and it's about learning the stories and creating a story. And that's why stories have always been a part of our culture. We've always had mythology because stories teach us how to move through those things. Um, and, and so we have to know, like, what's our story and what's their story. It doesn't mean we let it go, but we learn from it. So, and again, so that's forgiveness, forgetfulness, you know, those are, like, you don't necessarily let go of somebody who's abused you and just forgive them, right? But Valerie Carr finally heard the story from the murderer's perspective. And not that there was, you know, less grief, less pain, less, but there was a place where you could understand their story. So, yeah, mythology is important. Stories are important. Oh, <laughs> this conversation is so good. Um, so we'll continue it, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna grab some pizza, and Sandy and Bob are gonna join the table, and then we'll keep talking. Okay? So I've, I directed them to go and get their pizza first, because otherwise they get stopped, and then we never get to talk. So please follow them into the room and. Pizza, and then we'll get started again.